Well, bro, if she truly intended to separate from the Caucasian, then should should she not be in Africa somewhere? And should her husband not be shown since you stated that she's married? Because she's supposed to lead with the husband, right? The husband's supposed to be out in front as the head, right? I mean, allegedly. But as we all know, you're a simp, so you probably think that you should be walking behind your woman. Let me see here. The Most High Tribe of Judah respond to Ken Baker. It says, go somewhere else then, little Ken. We don't care for bitches here, but we do respect women. <laughs> hey, a bitch could be a man or a woman. A bitch could be a man or a woman. Like I said, a lot of these guys, they're, they're women trapped in a man's body. Ken Baker said, the Most High chose an original man. He said, somewhere a white Jew is waiting on your crew wearing third-rate trashy costumes to start yelling verses of your KJV Bible in English because none of you know Hebrew, nor Aramaic, nor Arabic. If you are not one of those clowns, then you are just another fake white troll escaped from hell. So this person, Ken Baker, he's an Afrocentrist. He has issues with, with the scriptures, which explains why he's so addicted to, connected to, and confounded by the mother goddess energy. But once again, you have a lot of these simp dudes out here. And I'll probably start a series on on simps. Um, I've touched on this in, in other videos, but it's very important to understand this, especially for a lot of cats who might be confused by some of the energies that are out here. But these simps, they don't have any real answers and they don't have any real courage. Their job is to protect the mother goddess principle. They act as drones protecting the queen bee. He says, we as black men will never um, disconnect from these people, but he ain't doing it. Let's see. Ken Baker stated again, he says, she separated with her husband and you still attack her. Wow. <laughs> Galatians 6 and 7 agrees with Ken Baker. For real. The most high tribe of Judah jumped in. He says, so what? Once again, if she separated with her husband, where is he? He should be on camera. She should not be the one speaking. So either she's the one leading the corporation or, or the venture or Vice News only wanted to talk to her to project the energy that this, uh, this venture was all about the women. Either way, as a man, he's supposed to come and dear all that and say, no, you speak to me. Once again, the liberal black woman does not understand that the, uh, the powers that be in this society are trying to play you against the man and to get you to marginalize the man because if she was truly respectful of her husband she would have said we did this together and he's going to speak or they come together and they speak together but just her on camera no Rhoda Lloyd a so called black woman she agreed with me she said you're so on point with these chicks Brad is what they want exclamation point I know that Rhoda I know that Rhoda Lloyd See, there's a lot of good so-called black women out here, brothers. Not saying Rhoda Lloyd is one. <laughs> I'm just playing, Rhoda. I'm just playing. Point being is that a lot of them understand what's going on. That's the point. Royal Divas, she said, y'all blacked out of your mind? Yeah, because I said that in the video. Absolutely. They are. Let me see here. Morty215 North Philly said, so true, it's sad, but I learned to let people lie to themselves about who they really love and want, and I put my focus into myself and my family. That's how it has to be. That's how it has to be. When you're dealing with people who love lies, the first person that they're going to lie to is themselves. Once a person lies to themselves, it's gonna be very easy for them to lie to everybody else because they're going to believe that they're telling the truth to everybody else even when they're lying because they've already lied to themselves so when you're dealing with people like this the person in this video believing that they're going to find freedom in all these other lands and all this other stuff let them go well maybe according to their understanding they will who knows so what about said so she moved to Costa Rica to get her hustle on nice scam well, being pro-black is a big hustle. 
Mr. Timeless says, yeah, you're right about black women wanting to be their own demographic. How do people become so proud with nothing to show for anything? It's sad, but another rule of life is pride comes before a fall. I agree, bro. I agree with you, Mr. Timeless 101. That's why I say let them alone. Hayden M says, you black people are reason black women are trying to escape Blackistan too. Damn. <laughs> so let them go. Whichever so-called black women want to go to Costa Rica, let them go. Let them find um, happiness there and, and let them find everything that they claim that they want there. Wish them well. Au revoir. Violet Chris says, curious what their fathers, uncles, and brothers would say about this. This is the resolution when you have a woman surrounded by black men that do nothing. This is absolute failure of all the black men in these women's lives. Also, this is pure manipulation. Never support this type of media. Well, you know what, Violet Chris, you make a lot of valid points. Let me say this very quickly. Um, very rarely do people ever ask whenever uh, a black woman comes to a determination or a decision in this society where where is her father or what does her father think or what do, what do her brothers think or what does her man think because the woman is made to believe that she should just be able to go according to her whims okay that's why you'll notice on the internet when these women get into these big gender war back and forth with men what do they say Oh, you must hate your mother. Or what does your mother think of this? Or what does your grandmother think of that? Because they're accustomed to the woman being the head and the woman being the final determinant in the man's decision making. So you will never hear a woman being questioned about her thoughts or her assertions based off of what her father's going to think. At least not the black woman. Right? How many times do we hear, do we hear mention that Serena Williams had a black man who trained her, her father, right? Or her in quotes, anyway. <laughs> Let me not open that can of worms. But it was a black man who trained Serena Williams and her, and her quote-unquote sister, Venus Williams. But you never hear him mentioned. Now, if the both of them were trained by a black woman, oh, my God. Imagine if the both of them were trained by their mother. Their mother would be on TV more than them. see here rip van said blame the women who supplied these women with their black males you know what i don't i don't get into the back and forth in regards to those type of assertions uh rip van i always go to the man because i don't expect the woman to change the woman is too carnal we have to address the man the man has to change things Let me see here. Keisha Burner said, Bro, I used to miss some of your sense of humor in much earlier videos on this channel. I wasn't all in on the Shannon Sharp impersonation. I was so locked in on picking up any knowledge you dropped, but you are super witty dudes. I stay laughing. Yeah, I appreciate that. What about, says, the Nebraska chick opened up the video with the contradiction. Hysterical. Because they don't, their brains don't work on the level to understand when they contradict themselves, bro. Most of these women don't understand when they contradict themselves. They just, they just talk. That's it. They just talk, 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 talk. Kamar Ayil says, how do we send requests or support your cause? Well, first off, brother, I don't have a cause. I don't have a cause. Uh... The issue that we have is a quote-unquote community issue. That's not my issue or my cause. So there's no need for you to support my cause because there is no cause for me. The main thing that the so-called black man could do is make sure that he makes better decisions. And I have to make better decisions. And when we do those things, then we support our cause. That's what it's about. Let me see here. Andre Jones says there's no reasoning with a rival opposing black women. That's warfare. No compromising with the rebels of ours to work against their own people's interests and theirs. I agree. I don't waste time going back and forth with liberal black women. A lot of times they try to come onto my channel and 
I mean, it's so obvious what they try to do. The first thing that they want to do is get into that low-level gender war shit. I always tell them it's beneath me. Don't waste my time. Like, don't waste my time with your silly shit. Ricky Thomas says exactly. James D3 says Costa Rica isn't the answer. Men in foreign countries will not tolerate bad behavior from a woman. It's just like here. If anything, these women will have to pay for male company. Uh, wouldn't shock me. A lot of these so-called black women, they go down to these uh, Caribbean islands or these South American countries on their vacation. And they do. They trick off on a lot of these young dudes there. They get some foreign rod and then they come back. <laughs> they come back to the States and act like nothing happened. Let's see here. Ness says, and uh, Ness provided a timestamp from 710 to 725, that one episode on Boondocks about the crazy killer coon kung fu chick popped up in my head. Granddad and Tom gave her great advice, but she slipped up and called her lonely single friend that last time. Well, that's a major problem. Most of these women, they have a lot of female friends that are as lonely and crazy and bugged out as they are. And they're not getting any real advice. Right? You're supposed to get advice from people that are not necessarily smarter than you, but um, at least have some wisdom to share. That person has to be at least as smart as you. And when you're talking about two liberal women, those are two delusional creatures. They have no understanding of anything. Let me see. Anya says, all oh, feminazis getting therapy. How sweet. Well, there's really not much therapy for the feminazi. A lot of these females, they just have to be allowed to, to go off and, you know, do them. Let me see here. Let me see. Oh, Jesse Urena says, I'm good on the ground. He was quoting something that I said in the video. A lot of these liberal women, you'll notice, especially a lot of these liberal black women, all of a sudden, and it shows you what they're really about, too. You'll notice this with the liberal black woman, especially now. Now they want to do a lot of things that a lot of uh, Caucasians have always liked to do over the, or are known for liking to do. Like climb mountains and go hiking and white water rafting and uh, bungee jumping and skydiving. A lot of these so-called uh, super liberal black women, they're, they're into that now. Why is that? Because they're showing you that's who they're really trying to become aligned with. Despite all their pro-blackity black shit. They'll say shit like that. Oh, you got to be more adventurous. You got to live a little. Yeah, I'm trying to live a little. I'm trying to live a lot. That's why I don't jump out of airplanes. Let me see here. Prince Revolver says, These women are a perfect example on why so many black youth grow up with a victim complex. Absolutely. And that's why so many brothers can't grow. And they end up going into the prison system. And they end up coming out, standing behind a bunch of big, fat, buffalo-looking lesbians with dreadlocks at Black Lives Matter rallies. Throwing rocks and trying to cause drama and confusion. Because they're mentally disturbed. That matriarchal energy is energy of chaos. That's all it is. Andre Jones says, yes, claiming victimhood while at the same time victimizing. Future World X says to Prince Revolver, then I take it, you don't believe black people should be separate from whites, right? Prince Revolver responded back, it depends on the person. Just don't be disingenuous about it. Future World says, no, I'm asking you. In other words, Future World wants to argue back and forth because he's trying to go into his... His coon doctrine, most likely. Right. Future World is another person who's trying to argue with somebody about something that he himself is most likely not willing to do. That's why I always ask a lot of the pro blackity blacks in the comments who try to uh, take the discussion somewhere about allegedly being uh, pro black or woke. I always ask them, What African country are you living in right now? They never respond because they're not willing to do what they espouse for others 
what they advocate for others, they themselves are not willing to do. They all talk. The healing mixologist says, yeah, because racism and discrimination are just myths and really don't exist. Like, really? F out of here, white folks kill me. Prince Revolver says to the healing mixologist, first, I'm not white. And it's obvious that the Prince Revolver is not white. He's just somebody who has his own thoughts. He says, second, I never said racism or discrimination doesn't exist. Stop being emotional. What they're saying is full of shit. Prince Revolver says to respond to Future World X, who's just trolling him anyway. He says, you're asking me what? More than whites, ignorant niggas, or the only people I had to part ways with. I agree with that. And you know what? A lot of people are not going to like that. But um, there does need to be a separation. But the separation is going to have to be with separating from a lot of these uh, low-level thinking Negroes, man. A lot of people are not going to like that. But there has to be a distinction made between those of our people who are, who are going to be forward thinkers and have a high level mentality and a lot of the dregs well that's not going to come until the judgment comes on this society but there's going to have to be a separation and a distinction made there future world x says lol it's a simple question man do you believe that black people should separate from white people yes or no prince revolver answered yes see brother you should not have conformed to future world trying to stipulate anything to you you should not have conformed because i think that prince revolver said to himself if i say no or who cares this person is going to try to to pull the coon card don't be worried about pro blackity blacks with the coon card right you're talking about what somebody believes none of that matters none of that matters about believing in separation our people have to be prepped to be able to have their own and run their own first before anything else. That's why I say we have to co we have to concentrate on the man. The focus has to be on the man. It's like if you sign up to go fight in a war, they don't just give you a gun and, and, and fatigues and send you out there. You have to go through basic training. That's why I say these pro blackity black, they talk shit all damn day. Do you believe in separation? Well, nigga, what African country are you living in? Do you believe in it? What's the point of talking about what everybody believes if you ain't doing it? So, Future World X says, Now, at first, I watched this video on what Coyote Dude's channel, and he didn't make sense. It was all over the place. Plus, that nasty, heavy breathing, I just couldn't do it. Then I listened to COJ's take on this whole thing, and it dawned on me he's right. Of course I'm right, brother. Of course I'm right. <laughs> I'm just playing. If these women were concerned truly about being away from white people, they would first not go on vacays and do it permanently, and they would bring their men with them. But no, it's really about them coping with the fact that white people don't view them the same as other white people. They want to be hit on by white men. They want to join the Me Too movement. They desire all of the things that white people enjoy and get no shit for it. They want to hike and surf and shit, although there's nothing wrong with that. Though the whole mindset was to leave these things behind and focus more on a more Afrocentric manner of existing. See that? Like I told you, this brother Future World X is an Afrocentrist. That's why he was trying to pin down the brother Prince Revolver. All right? I say this all the time. How could you be an Afrocentrist when there's no such thing as Africa? What is your tribe? Are you willing to go live with your tribe in Africa? If you're not willing to do that, please stop running your mouth. And I say that with all due love and respect. He says they're full of shit, but so are a lot of black people. It's very complicated, and I've already written an essay, so I'll just say peace. Peace, brother. But you should be examining your own doctrine. Examine your own doctrine. All right, God bless. Conquering Lions say Chronicles, great breakdown. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Christopher Fluker says, I've been in the dark regarding truly dealing with a woman. He says, and I married, but the Lord is ever so kind and long-suffering toward me. 
I think that to better my relationship, maybe to figure out how to talk to a woman like a child without her realizing it. Ding. Ding. Hey, Christopher Fluker. You're almost there, bro. When you understand that, when you understand that you're dealing for the most part with a child with titties. And don't get it twisted. There are some women out here that are very mature. Not every woman is a child with titties, but the vast majority of them. When you understand that that that's what you're dealing with, um, your relationships will become much simpler. Stop having higher expectations for the woman than she has for herself. Let me see here. HB2N said it's definitely a start. John Berry says similar hustle as some of these mega churches and pastors. It's the exact same hustle except on a smaller scale. All the church system is, is a rehab facility. It's a rehab facility network for people who are depressed or feeling down about themselves. You don't go to church to learn about the most high or the Bible. You go to church to feel better about yourself. That's it. That's why you see a lot of these low level women. They're scoring five different dudes. They go into the club Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning. They go to church. They feel like that's going to cleanse them. They tell you about how they baptize and they save through the blood of Jesus. All this nonsense. I'm sure that certain people are going to be upset by what I'm saying. Um, that's for another video for another day. But you're getting some water ran over your head. That's not going to save you. Okay? It's not going to save you. A lot of people are not going to like that. Um, right now, we're in the time of mercy. We're not in the time of grace. People read the scriptures and they read about the baptisms and they try to do that today. The baptism was to bring about the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit was for the elect of that time during the time of grace. We're not in the time of grace right now. And these churches are offshoots of the Babylonian mystery school system. That's what they are. But I'll probably go into the origins of these churches in another video. But you have to understand that you have something called the Reformation. Starting in the 1400s, going all the way through the 1500s. And you had men like... Henry VIII, who formed the Anglican Church, and uh, Martin Luther, who formed the, the original Protestant churches. And you had many other, uh, many other church movements during that time period, the Huguenots, etc. And, of course, then you had the Puritanical movements of the late 1500s going into the 1600s. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a lot of information that people are not aware of. And all these churches came from the, from the Catholic church system, which has nothing to do with Christ at all. The Catholic church system under Constantine came directly from the Latin church of the Romans. And the Roman Latin church came from the Etruscans. The Etruscan church came from the Assyrians. And the Assyrian church came from the Babylonian mystery school system, which itself was directly related to the Kemetic mystery school system okay so that's why you see a lot of things in these churches that you might not quite understand the jumping up and down and the revelries and all that stuff that all comes from ancient Kemet and Babylon let's see here Rick Evans says any other good channel like this one thank you bro I appreciate that let me see here a lot of these dudes are on here giving them um, a lot of these other brothers are giving their own opinion about some of these other channels. And uh, the Most High Tribe says, Not even Solo TV preaches interracial dating. COJ does not. He teaches the so-called black male how to think properly. Huge difference. He says, Not even both of these channels are pro-black. COJ is not. He's pro-truth. Well, that's what you're supposed to be. That's what you're supposed to be. you got to be pro-truth, not pro-black. Because the pro-blacks are Luciferians. All right, Some of them understand that they are. Some of them don't. But the pro-blacks are Luciferians. Okay? That's why you have this doctrine about them talking about the Baphomet is a good thing and all this nonsense. Why are they saying that? Because the Baphomet or the goat god is the Ba or the soul of Asar. So they try to teach that the Baphomet represents the black man. 
and no, the Baphomet does not represent the, the black man. Uh, Asar was a so-called black man, but he was a Kushite. Okay? Asar or Osiris was a Kushite. Uh, there's a big difference between what we call black men and a Kushite. Kushite is a lineage. Uh, the Kushites today are known as the Nilotic tribes, right? The New Era, the Dinka, so on and so forth. The, uh, the Watusi, a lot of different tribes that live along the Nile. So that's one of the main problems that so-called blacks here in America, they don't get. They, they worship skin color, so they try to conflate everything and they end up making asses of themselves because once again, you will never find one so-called African that agrees with anything that these niggas here in America, these comedic niggas are talking about. D. Nightman said, I wanted to go to an all-female resort once. Glad I never did it. It looks like brainwashing to me. These broads are really effed up. It being not to be accepted by white people is a big deal. I couldn't care less about white people like me or not. I prefer black men anyways which I involved with a black man. Well, good for you, D. Nightman. This comment was made three months ago. Hopefully, you're still with him. Taurus Chick said, well, damn, I thought this was for black people, not just not just for black women. No, it's just for black women because they know that, that the black woman has all the money. They got all the jobs. They're not going to have a resort for black men to go all the way to, to Costa Rica to, uh, to decompress. That's how you know it's about money. Black man said, if I want to decompress, I'll just take two weeks off my job. I'll just sit on the couch. <laughs> the fuck I got? If the black man going to pay all that money to go to Costa Rica or Brazil or the Dominican Republic, he ain't going there to relax. He going there to knock down some coochie, man. That's it. That's what he going there for. He ain't going there to meditate. He going there to copulate. Jay Williams says, these sheep are getting hustled. When is the next trip to Jonestown? Well, you know, that's, that's a problem with a lot of our people because our people are heavily into man worship and woman worship. Al Graves said, wow, tough statement. Love it. It's the truth. Kamar Ayil says, if you haven't watched this show, Call American Gods, you should watch it on Stars, do a breakdown. Yeah, I've heard of that show. I haven't seen it, though. Calculated guys studio says my mom took me out there to Costa Rica after Trump too. This is crazy insightful Yeah, I tried brother King Capo said I used to live in Korea. You should see the black women over there after they exhaust shopping for cheap They hate it not many Caucasian men and women stroking their godhood and half the homies booed up with Korean chicks I can imagine I can imagine on a lot of these army bases because you have a lot of, I mean, I'm going to keep it real. A lot of these, these chicks join the military just so that, just so that they can put mileage on their vaginas and uh, get money to go to school. That's about it. Most of these, and the only reason why they even let women into the military in the first place, and I mentioned this in a video a long time ago, the only reason why they let women into the military in the first place is to lower rapes in the military. Because you had men raping other male soldiers. You had men raping the indigenous women in the lands that they were occupying. So they let women into the military so that the male soldiers would have someone to have sex with. That's it. Let me see here. Big Dick Click responded to King Koppel. He said, interracial is cancer, my nigga. Look, let me say this. Um, I don't make videos to advocate for or castigate so-called interracial dating. But we're here in Babylon. You have to understand something. Uh, you have different classes of women here. You have women that are wife material. You have women that are concubine material. Whatever you decide to do, you have to understand something. A woman's not going to treat you well just because she's a so-called race. She's also not going to treat you ill just because she's a so-called race. So as a so-called black man, you have to have the discernment to understand the level of woman that you're dealing with, no matter what race she is. But I'm not one of these guys, oh, you, you just have to deal with the so-called black woman. You have to make sure that you make the best decisions in your life. That's what you should be focused on. Not what so-called race of woman that you're going to be with.
Of course, every woman has her, her pluses and her minuses, just like we as people have our pluses and our minuses.